T Fit here with Fit Willie TV. Listen, people, today, whoo, we are prepping. Stan's about to come out here. He said he wanted to do an episode about racing a dog. Guess what? I got all the X Dog stuff. <laughs> Shout out to X Dog for putting us on game, giving us the tools we need to make our dogs better fucking dogs. If you've been watching, I love pushing my dogs like I love pushing myself. Therefore, I look for tools so that I can really elevate everything we're doing. The program, my dog's quality of life, their strength. I love a muscular dog. I love a dog that can do. And how do you better yourself? You add resistance. For those who love sports, <laughs> A basketball player's game becomes more proficient when he adds muscle, aka the Jordan rules. You watch KD, Durant, I mean all of them. LeBron, when they added more muscle, the game became crazier, if you would. In track and field, Carl, uh, was it Lewis or oh, Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson was the first idea, if you would, we're like, fuck. Muscle, muscle makes a difference, even in track. I think it went from running 9.9 to 9.6, 9.7, and, and therefore, and then, of course, you, you sin bumped. He, uh, he changed the game. So, x Dog, look. We did a video breaking down the vest. This is a, a large box. The vest, again, you get your box with the x Dog stuff. Comes with extensive instructions. How to weigh the vest. Pull this out. Guess what? You get weighted bags. Get a little water, a little water thing. These are the things that you put, whatever you want to put in there. Now, mind you, we've already got a vest with BBs in it. Oh, uh, this ain't the one. I think this one got sand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that is the BBs. <laughs> it's got the BBs. Let's weigh the BB vest. See how them BBs doing. No BB king. Oh, shit. Zero that booger out. How much is this vest right here? Oh, that's actually pretty good. So 8.58 pounds is how much this vest weighs with BBs in it. Check this out. Let's just read the fucking instructions for I guess. I think Stan says you want to put and make it so that uh Yeah. We 10 should not exceed 10% of BN. Basically body mass, I believe is what this stands for. Uh, and I could read more, but I ain't read. Just to be honest. <laughs> But objectively, it says Maya's about 80 pounds. That's who we gonna put this vest on. So guess how much her vest should be? About eight pounds, because that's 10% of 80, uh, of the number 80. So I can get 82 pounds. Now, I've ego weighted a few vests and them jokers be about 12 pounds. <laughs> Which is not a good thing, but, you know. <laughs> the, more, the, the, more, the more, the better. So, that one has BBs. I had Jamarcus, who's behind the camera. Oh shit, grab me some sand. And then we've got this beautiful drag bag. We got another box of drag bag. We got another box of drag bag. And these drag bags, this has sand in it, that I do know. So this one thing of sand in it. Come on now, shit, why you even go off? Whew, that's 11 pounds. There's three bags in this booger right here. So that's roughly what, 33 pounds of some change plus the drag bag. So let's put the whole bag on here and see what this weighs. Because now, on top of the vest, being on the dog, which is eight pounds, we're gonna put this, she gonna drag this here bag. <sighs> Almost 40 pounds that uh, my dog will be pulling. And I put this bag through hell. This is just one bag. So, again, Shout out to We're gonna test some concrete. We got the concrete in the back. I think it's in the back. Oh, it's out there. Got the concrete out there. We're gonna put one drag bag full of concrete. Again, drag bag, you open it up. Boom. Comes like this, how gorgeous this is. I think he's cutting these things in half. You'll get the same amount of, uh, call it, uh, it'll, it'll basically do the same thing though. Pull this stuff out here. Comes with a buckle. And then here come the bags. Comes with three bags. You can put whatever you want in them. We're gonna add. We're gonna add some sand to these boogers. Um, we're gonna put the camera down for a second because the markets are probably gonna help. Have to help me with this because this shit can get messed. We're probably gonna do it in the grass. That being said, oh damn. Push your dogs, people. <laughs> Drag bags, parachute. 
all this stuff. He reinforced this because at some point this part was popping. So he added something special for the mountain walls when they get going, that thing can snap. So parachutes, all this stuff. Resistance is change, stop resisting change. Uh, we're gonna show you filling this thing up. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Probably the second episode will be Stan um, and Maya racing. Maya's the only dog I have right now. Ego literally is only what, about nine, 10 months old. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot, and you should not, I will not, put a weighted vest on my dog till they're at least 12 to 14 months old, depending on their size. Normally, it's about 14 to 18 months when the growth plates on a XL dog finishes uh, when they close. Therefore, the dog's in prime position basically to start really building out their muscle. Things you can do instead is do like slap meal, treadmill type stuff, that's fine. But that weighted stuff, you want that dog to fully develop in the way in which you don't prevent development by adding things that could be tumultuous, try, trying, challenging on their, uh, their joints. So Ego, he can't race today, and I believe he would do fine. Or he'd be driven to like compete, to say the least. He got that dog in him. But I'm itching like a kid on Christmas. Praying to God that that day come, that boy ready to go. So stay tuned, because in the next few months, believe me, he will have an ex dog vest uh, on every day, period. When we go on our walks, he'll have a vest on. I do put the weighted collar on, we'll talk about that at another time. But for right now, we're gonna fill this one up with sand. We're gonna mix some concrete, put another drag bag with concrete and see how that does. And mind you, if you don't have uh, concrete or sand, you could add wood, weights, whatever you have, some bricks. Uh, but, do, but do know that these bags, man, it takes a toll on them. So you wanna use it in grass more than concrete. Uh, I get a little ridiculous at times. So I had them jokers pulling across a parking lot and anything else. I'm not really built for that, just so you know. <laughs> but keep pushing your dogs, take care, and if you got any questions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enjoy uh, the bullshit we're about to do. Yeah. Yo, people, so listen, what I do like about the drag bag, it comes with basically a way to double reinforce this, the whole, whatever you put in here. So look at this, God, look. You literally put the sand in here, put the sand in this pouch right here, you close this one and then close that one so the stuff doesn't fall out. Whatever substance you use. Jamarcus, go ahead and cut the corner of this. Damn. They right here in my pocket. Uh, and no people, I don't walk around with scissors in my pocket. <laughs> but I knew this was coming. And and mind you, this also keeps you from ego waiting <laughs> the damn uh, sacks themselves. So he's gonna do his best to pour this sand in. <laughs> As I said, I knew it would take two people. I did it once by myself. <laughs> and it was not easy. Sand's a pretty solid substance. It gets messy though. Come on, brother, keep going. What's wrong with that sand? It's, 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 it's dropping glue in here. There you go. Come on, old man. <laughs> it's just one bag. We still got two to go. <laughs> Is it stuck? Oh, this is wet. Hey! That's she supposed to stay. <laughs> Come on, man. Turn that took that thing up, boy. <laughs> Makes a bigger hole, right? That's a blade. Hey, there we go. Here, here. Cut that big hole, man. This shit gonna take all day. <laughs> do a little bit, do a little bit like that. Oh man. There we go. Going in triple per usual. <laughs> bruh, 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 here, you hold this. <laughs> you, you hold this, my nigga. Hey, look at, look at that. <laughs> there look you at, go. There we go. Slow. Look at that there. <laughs> now, once you get to that spot here, mind you, in your mind, you could probably put a little bit more in there. Realistically, that's enough. It's at the line. You want to be able to close it up. Seal it. Boom. That's a full sack right there. 
We'll take this back in there and let you see what that weighs. Let's go. Whew. Uh oh, stand the dog man's on his way, people. I see him coming down the street now. There we go. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> hey boy, so much faster than I do. <laughs> Another one. Sign still delivered like Stevie. Has that enough? A little more? Yeah, a little more. A little bit more. How much was this bag of sand you bought? It? Four dollars, five dollars of tax. Four, five dollars, people. That's enough. <laughs> $5 for this whole bag right here. This will take care of one pouch. What's up, Stan? What up, what up, what up? Stan the dog, you got the drag bag? Yeah, I got the drag bag. Well, what you got in? Oh, shit, I think I left my sand at home. I think I got one. Maybe. See, that's okay. One, we, maybe, we out here. maybe two in there. That's okay. I'm here for the shits. Yeah. We got it. Well, we got this thing here. Mr. NFT. What's up, man? What's up, what's up, what's up? You doing all right, bro? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah. Ready? Back for back for another edition. Yeah, yeah. another episode of life. Also, we shoot right now. You on camera? I mean, I got five on <laughs> I'm. This is gonna be fun to watch. Yeah. So only dog I got is fucking Eagle. Maya right now. My ego can't get in there. You don't think so? He can, but he's not old enough. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> in your head he is. I mean, you get you get introduced it, but not uh, now. No, not, not taking that risk. No, he, so he with, too, the, with the younger dogs, you just drag the bag so they get used to it. Trust me, he'll be fine. It's kind of like Zara. Uh, so Stan, go ahead, fill that one. Here, is this is the light good on this? Yeah. Let me see. Oh shit. So look, first time Stan put his dog in there, that nigga didn't do shit. <laughs> it wasn't the first time. I knew he don't do that. Shit. <laughs> see, he he, like he knew. Here's the thing. Like I knew Zara and Maya would do it. Maya's a lazy bitch, mm. and so ego. He has you have a good bond with 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 your dog. So I'm not gonna. It's not that's not the challenge. But it could be, as he said, the dog could be indifferent to it. But I start working obsession in a sense with my dog early on. So if I put a fucking fucking uh, boulder on them bitches, if they gotta get to me. Day's coming and Zara's poor leg went back. I can literally be like, Zara, let's go. And she'll just start walking with that thing, bro. And if I pick up the pace, there's footage. She's moving. And mind you, as you saw, all these bags, they're not. It's try dragging 40 pounds around on top of another 10 pounds. It's not light. We got two vests here. What you got in your vest? Uh, they're filled. With what? Uh, BBs. Okay. Bring it out so we can weigh it. <laughs> Bring it out so we can fucking weigh it. Put, put the test of this motherfucker. So we got the BBs. As you see. I'm not worried about ego. Some people get worried. He's like, introduce it. Look, if I tell that nigga to go, he gonna go. He learned that time. He had his dog. He took him so much work to get them dogs to do something. I said, Zara, let's walk. And she just thought, Maya, you get a little treat. And if you pet her a little bit, she's gone too. So I got a little trick. <laughs> little flirt poach. I'm gonna get the little flirt pole. Maya got that dog good. If I do like this with the little one, she's gone. So Oakley a go. I think Maya gonna do okay. When Eagles, about three months from now, we'll race the dogs again. <laughs> and Eagle gonna kick his ass again. <laughs> he better be glad Zari, boy. Shit. Hey, she <laughs> make food more, but she ain't fast. Who's Zara? Yeah. It depends. It depends. Shit, we clocked Oakley at 32 with a parachute and a weight vest on. Mm-hmm. We, mm -hmm. we got to get the uh, speed this radar next. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, no, Different no, no. size. We, gonna, we got the scale, bro. Man, put the BBs in me. Man, what kind of? That's not the right size for Oakley. Oh, uh, which one? This oh, one. I don't have. That's why I'm trying to swap oh, it out. Man. See, you trying to do it too quick. See, you trying to do it way before. We're going to put this in here real quick. Let's see, just so we can see. Y'all see what mine uh, weighs. I didn't know I had to be ready. Four like, pounds? Four pounds? As soon as I come out the door. <laughs> Four <laughs> pounds? Both of them on there. They don't weigh shit. <laughs> Four pounds? Y'all see the other one? I got one of them. Eight pounds? Oh, this is a disadvantage. That's okay. In the bullies, we trust. <laughs> in the bullies, we trust. See, in, in anything else, I say yeah, but for, for this particular exercise. But look, that's why he brought Oakley. He didn't bring yeah. Rocco for this shit. Hey, every dog has a purpose. Every dog has a purpose. Bring Rocco for this one. Rock, they say Rock Day. But I got juice. It's but like, I got juice. Juice, you think he, well, he's too young too. 
So you saw we just filled these up, people. Another 11.30. Uh, 1076. Everything is at least 10 pounds, so, so you can get about 30 pounds. Some change. Plus, we put the drag back on. The drag back ain't light. That's, that's 40 pounds of dog's racket. Plus, mine will have that, that uh, highlighter green, safety green, if you would. And boom, trust me, I'd love to pull it, get, get Ego going. <laughs> I'd love to. Well, we're about to buy that slap mill probably this week. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's over. <laughs> Stay tuned, people. You ain't fucking with Oakland on that slap man leader. Probably not. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet, nigga. Shit, or juice right now. Juice right now. Cause he got practice, bro. Well, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll see. He been on there a couple times. I, I guess, need, I, I guess more, we'll, I need one we'll more find out. You got one more bag for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab one out of here. Oh, you don't have no BBT though, huh? You got sand or something? Yeah, yeah, put some, use some of that sand. Yeah. Now mind you people, BBs are one of the heaviest substances you can use, clearly as metal. It's concrete, even though, I don't know if you're familiar with concrete, it gets airy at times, right? So what happens is, is it it's like, feels like it's heavy, but it's not that heavy. So, uh, and then sand, it's dense, you can stuff it, compact it, but I'm telling you, ain't nothing thicker than them damn BBs. I've used all of them. I got about 10 packs of BBs at my friend's house still that I can put in a couple vests. Wait, that one? Yeah. Let's weigh this one too. That's free bags. Oh, that's not me. I put some more sand in. It's not happening. <laughs> that one gives some more sand. You hear it? She already ready to go. Mm -hmm. I know, I know you're here. I know you're here. Hold this, hold this right fast. And then we got the parachute in there. Uh-huh. Yeah, we get some work. A little bit more, little bit more. Day. A little bit more, a little bit more. And then we're gonna put T Fit on the parachute and see what he do. Boy, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Don't ask your dog to do something you ain't I went, gonna do. I went 10-9 then a parachute one time, then ran 10 to 8 at the next meet. Ha <laughs> ha! He's be one of the fastest kids in the state of Kansas. He talk he talking to somebody who always catching my car. Niggas always trying to disrespect me. I was a big nigga, but I could walk across the finish line in a hundred. <laughs> so again, people, like I said, I like that it's double sealed. Turn around like a good sandwich. Put that in there. <laughs> Look up. Let's test this again. I need it at least 10. I can live with it not being 11 pounds. Oh yeah, there we go. 11.50, 35, 40, doo doo doo. Throw that on there, throw that on there. What we got now, what we got now? Hold on, hold on, okay. Four to five, four to seven. You talking about a four pound vest, people. Hey, Just hey. remember that. Remember that when we do this, look. Four pounds, this is the vest mine will be wearing. Hey, eight pounds. I put, I put the highlighter green on Oakley and still do it. We'll see. We can do We're gonna too. do it two different ways. He got the cones and everything. Yeah. So we're gonna do a top, we'll use a stopwatch to see what they do. And then we'll see. Yeah, yeah. stay tuned, people. All day, all day, yeah, this is what we do. This is what we do. <laughs> I'm like, coach, I can't get going in those 16 by, by the time you get to your best, you're hitting the wall. Well, listen, people, stand about the coals out. You want to make it real. Yeah. That's we do. You said 50 meters, you disrespecting my bullets. Yeah. Said, said, we can't do 100 meters, they ain't got that endurance. They ain't got that endurance. I good for about what? <laughs> you go good for about So, I, so we got to we got to finish. It's like race day. Yeah. Except you had a little free limbs. Yeah, free limbs. Little free limbs. Yeah, five, five. Depending on the level of the meat. So you want them going uphill or downhill? Yeah. They gonna hit. They gonna hit something. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. Uh, it's, wait, let's make it fair for the bullets. How you, how you trying to hit that man? Oakley do whatever. That's what I'm saying. How you, you look again, people. He didn't bring Rocco. I didn't. He know Rocco don't want this smoke. He's the old man, man. You can't make the old man come out here and do it. Uh, my dad raced me in the park like this when I was a kid. He's probably about 40 years old. And he had flip flops on. He said, take off. He gave me a head start. And that nigga jumped over a goddamn tree this big to catch my ass and beat me. <laughs> at that moment. <laughs> I realized very quickly, this nigga's never going to be, uh, I ain't never going to beat this nigga. And finally, by the time I got old enough too, he was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> like, this
this old cheating ass nigga. Now I don't get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> he, he at home now. He had his chances. He had his opportunity. He cleared, he cleared the four foot wall on Vert. So let's let him in on that one for a little bit. That was a good one. That shit was crazy. I know, you see, my shit was nuts. I didn't realize how like good it was until I seen it from the angle that she had. Even the angle that she had on the camera didn't yeah. look as good from that up top like. Hey, hey, they love that shit, man. I was surprised it did so well, too. Stand in front of this side because the wind's blowing, and I didn't put the wind thing on there in order to bring the camera back. A little something to be mindful of. Now, people, here's the trick. I know that I don't have Zara with me, so technically, even a dog like Ego, we'll talk about that and like a breakdown of, it, of what's going to take place today because he made some good points. And I've never used a parachute. I never was a parachute person. Um, I had people invest in a treadmill because when you start talking about top speed, right, I could turn the treadmill on and it go 20 miles an hour, 23 miles an hour. So I'm like, we don't work speed. <laughs> we gonna work speed. I ain't gonna run as fast as I can get the parachute going. Then it finally had just a tad bit of resistance. I'm gonna hold the smoke for the minute. So that just like you see the ones doing, or the folks, uh, them kids, like when they say, hey, T Fit, can you train my kid to be faster? Absolutely. I've got a treadmill that goes anywhere from 15 to literally 23 miles an hour. And if you know anything about track, your same bolt used to top out at about what, 23, 24? Top. That means when he's fully going, it's 23. So when you stepped on this treadmill, <laughs> I mean, you had to be moving. And if you can stay on there for anywhere to five to seven seconds, and then get to 10, get to 15, boy, your top speed changed, that first step changed, everything changed. So in this case, what I, my point I was making is, is here's the cone, there's the cone. Maya, Zara, and Ego are highly motivated by me, so I could have somebody hold them and say, take off, and they would go. Maya needs the motivation, so I gotta think about myself. I'm like, Damn. I'm gonna have to run this too, goddamn. That's <laughs> <laughs> why well, you gotta stay in condition for your dogs. Yep. Um, what way is, do you normally get Hopi going? Uh, she just likes to go. Yeah. So, I mean, she's one of those dogs that she sees a tug, or like you said, we can put Demarcus in a suit, whatever. She's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, she just likes to go. But like you said, she's motivated by me as well. So, if I'm like, come on, baby, let's go, let's go, she's like, yeah, let's go. And the same thing with Rocco, he just does it a little bit slow. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco like a jump start, like he a jump. I seen it. We should have recorded that back in the day. We wasn't on YouTube we did, like that. We that. did record it though. I think I might still have the footage. I'll, okay. I'll go look. I'll go yeah, look. he was. He had a little bit, little, little challenge, if you will, little challenge. But that's from the lack of socialization or his exposure to having stuff dragging behind him. So he's where like, what the hell's going on? Like, okay, Daddy, what's going on? Like, so. But, and so, I, but that's confusing. Because the first time I ever put the thing on my Azar, she never had it except the first time. And she was like for two seconds. And then it's like in Superman where he says, Kal he started ripping his stuff out. I was always this. And then he flies. That's how Zara is like, well, fuck. If this is what we're doing, let's go. And I'm almost 100% sure. Nobody going to be around but Ego. When it's time to press go, he'll be like, nigga, where are you going? I had Zara dragging it up heels and everything. And she get frustrated. And I love when my dog gets frustrated. Because my famous saying is frustration precedes innovation and at that moment you say look I could push this dog a little bit more yep. so at any who we're gonna put it to the test people yep. stay tuned let's go let's go <laughs> Enough. She can move, man. Yeah, she got it. She fit. So maybe this is like when Jack Henry was walking around with his dogs. Uh... -huh. 
over here. Oh, so waiting on uh Cause they're racing, obviously, right? No, no, we gonna do it time wise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yo, people. I mean, we can put them side by side too. Yeah, we can do that. She, she, she could make it. She could make it two, two times for sure. At least I hope so, right? Mind you, I've not been working with her. Here's some motivator, some. Mind you, normally when I know I press my ass button, she's good to go. I've had her around and she be doing shit. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> put this right up under there. Maya, I see she charged up. So, I'm just about to go up there so you can see everything. Let's cross on the finish line. So get back at the angle, start panning in, all right? Okay. with a finish. Eagle will finish. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to get Oakley out. We got to swap the vest out. And we're going to see what Oakley baby does. Hey, hey, hey. How old is Oakley? Uh, she's a five-year-old. Five-year-old. Has she been doing this since she was a pup, or how long have you had her again? Um, I've had her since she was 16 weeks old. So yeah, she's been doing a lot of this stuff: conditioning, endurance, jumping, treadmills, drag bags. Just exposed her to a lot more stuff than I did with Rocco because I knew better. So she loves to run. She loves to go, and we'll see if she opens up today.
Longest shit to Aaron Sims. Guys, go follow Crossfire Kettles. It's my guy. <laughs> yeah, the baby. Hey, you saw it live. But again, he know what dog to bring. He knew what dog to bring. Hey, <laughs> the coach put his players in the best positions. I'm not sending Shaq around the corner to shoot a three. I had to bring my worst dog. Hey, that's what you got. That's what you got, man. <laughs> Shout out to my Alyssa. Yeah, she's just had babies, man. <laughs> Literally, she got some babies baby. in the backyard uh, and still was able to get a little bit motivated. She gets distracted. Um, it made me glad Zara could go, because Zara moved. And she's the one I had on this bitch every day. Every day at one point, she was going. I say walk, she'll walk with that As far as I wanted to, Oakley did great. She got that dog in her. She got that dog, man, Shepherd, man. She ain't even phased. She like, she like that condition. This, this is impressive, people. This is impressive. I mean, I this is part of it I enjoy right here. Um, you, just, you never know what your dog will do until you do all you can with your dog. And this is the part where I enjoy him even coming with this type of episode. But hey, let's shoot the dogs running a little bit. Again, I can't complain. Mine's still finished. That's a big thing, man. Sometimes in life, we overlook the little wins, right? And at the end of the day, she could have been like, fuck this shit. And not do that at all. Because she ain't did it literally in like a year, I think. She ain't been a year since we was over at that field at least. Since the snow. Been, since the snow. And that means the last year's snow, not even this snow. So that's the last time she did it, which is surprising. But again, I believe in my dogs because you talk about foundation. Foundationally, I I work with them from uh, fucking eight weeks until forever. This is it. Like, this is it. I, I want to be surprised, but also, like, I knew it. <laughs> and, and that's the difference between what I did with her and with Rocco. I just didn't know what I was supposed to do with him, so I didn't do uh, shit. Yeah. Didn't socialize him, didn't expose him to this, didn't do nothing. I just put stuff in trees because it was cool. With her, I actually knew, okay, <laughs> get her dragon stuff, get her used to harnesses, vests, all of this stuff. So, information changes a lot of stuff that you can get your dog to do. And Rocco still will do it, he's just not going to be as energetic. Yeah. Let's say that. Yeah, that's great. Again, when we get back to the house, I'll cut another episode where we kind of show, talk a little bit more about it. That looks like because again, I'm 100 percent sure anything I ask my dogs to do, they gonna do. Period. I know that. He came into the game what about four years ago? Six now. Six years ago, I've been fucking with dogs since I was a kid, man. <laughs> I mean literally, and I don't mean just like fuck. I remember being in eighth grade reading a book that said a German Shepherd could hold 36 commands. I was like, ooh, that's interesting. So I told my grandparents I wanted a German Shepherd. <laughs> and we got Tank and Ringo out them things. And then I was like, let me fuck with these dogs. And then I was like, well, I like that pit bull, but they would never let me get one. Because <laughs> one almost killed a cousin of mine. <laughs> and the only thing that saved her was some wooden floors. <laughs> like, he slipped and she shut the door. Otherwise, it'd have been her last uh, door she ever shut. And they knew the dog would kill her because the dog crushed the kid's collarbone in the neighborhood. Because my dad knew what kind of dog it was. He said, look, dude hit him. Bitch, my dad, my dad turned around and was like, I'll be right back. <laughs> and the kid did the same thing, dad went, and then when he did it, the dog latched on to this dude's collar and crushed the kid's collarbone. So they knew what the people was capable of, they didn't think I needed one, which is fair. So as soon as I got old enough, I got one. I got about 10 of them bitches. <laughs> no exaggeration, I could damn you every last one of them motherfuckers. And I was able to put them in homes, breed them, all that stuff. So, me get back into the dog space, I know how to build that bond, that cultivate that environment. So when I press play, I'm not even like, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's like, that he's surprised, he ran fast. I thought he was gonna do 4-4. Four, four. He did a 4-2. Yeah, all right, all right. yeah that, that kind of surprise. So even when, when when Ego got riled up first time we did that, it was like, I thought Zara would, but I didn't know. But I had a feeling. Yeah. And then Ego, I'm like, oh, he should be good to go. That's what we doing. That's what and, we doing. And, and he's good to go. But again, I had to press all the buttons. Press all the right buttons, build that bond cultivate the environment, work with people like him, keep building relationship with my dog so we can better the dog, better our experience with our dog, keep pushing our dog. So thank you as always for coming out. We got some more stuff we gonna shoot today. This right here has been a blast, people. It's like this. And wait till, wait till, it's about four more months. <laughs> about four more months. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna be, gonna be ready to go, brother. He gonna be on this motherfucker two miles a day. Ego and Juice part two coming in four here months. Ego and Juice, Juice. He gonna bring old Juice and Booty out here. So, mm -hmm. hey, subscribe, like, comment, Iron Sharp K9. Don't wanna miss it. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, people, you put this in here or this, this didn't come with this? Nah, this is from the ADBA.
Yeah, tell me about that, or do you know about this? Um, look, I'm learning. That's what I'm doing with Juice as well. The okay. treadmill runs, so high jump. ADBA? Cool. You used to mean something back in the day when you had this. This is where the game dogs hang out. And when you used to show dogs in the ADBA, what happened is, is they want to see your dog a little tumultuous. They want, like, if a, if a pit got a little rowdy in the ring a little bit, like, they're like, oh, yeah. You wanted, you wanted to judge him on his character because a dog is defined by what it is, and they believe in that. This is a game dog organization, man. Yeah, trust me. I, like I said, I've been in this dog thing for a long time, people. This ain't news to me. I'm like, I want to go see it all. Yeah, that's, that's primarily what we're going to do with Juice. Yeah, she's a treadmill, high jump, or the wall climb, and then weight pulling, all that kind of stuff. Oh, man, and the weight pulling? There was a dog back in the day that was 13 years old, and he held the record for pulling upwards of 5,000 pounds on a 13 foot pad. Like, that just blew my mind. And I was around all this, like, man. That's the kind of shit that got me into it. I'm like, well, I wonder what this dog could really do. And you see what this dog could do, you're like, mine got to do the same. I remember poking holes in a harness, like a regular harness you put on the dog, <laughs> and getting two things at Walmart, having Coco drag a 45 pound play around the whole yard, bro. I kid you not. That shit had me charged up. When I seen that, I was like, oh yeah, she about to go in. And she had shoulders. My homeboys all play football in college. They come back, they said, damn, sure, everybody got to look like you? This is what I was. <laughs> I was crazy cut at this time and big as all bigger than all them and they play sports. <laughs> so he about to put the parachute on the dog, get you, you know, little B-roll footage. Yeah. Free. Is that lawnmower we're gonna throw her off? Should? Should? So. And that's just from simple desensitization over the years, especially when she was real young? Yeah, like Trevor said, she's gonna wanna come with me, regardless of what else is going on. So she's not gonna be worried about that lawnmower too much. She's just gonna be trying to get to daddy. Here and you just go that way. So the wind's blowing. Makes sense. So I think it might be messed up. Okay. See, like, you see, as you go in, it's not getting yet. Yeah. Why do you do that exactly? Hey, it's just for shits and giggles. Okay, so nothing to do with uh, monkey see, monkey do, if you will? Nah, just building a bond, having fun with your dog. Okay. You ready, Oak?
We done. We out of here. Iron sharp. It's the iron sharp way. You gotta do it. Whew.